Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello and thanks for joining us today. John Coleman and I are with one of our favorite people, Dr. Liz Lister. How are you doing, Liz? Great. Thank you so much. How are you? Mm. Great, great. Good to see you again. By the way, uh, Dr. Liz, I, uh, not recent, not too recently, got, for the first time, I got Shinglex vaccine. Mm. Went, went in for the flu shots and got um, the extra shot for shingles. And, and yep. I don't, my doctor said, well, you got to get it. I, well, I don't, what is shingles? Excellent. That's absolutely right. Everybody over 50 should get the Shingrix vaccine. But let's talk first about what shingles is and what the vaccine prevents. So shingles is caused by the same virus that causes chicken pox. Now, 99% of people in the U.S. have had chicken pox. Okay. And in those folks, the virus can stay dormant for decades. And no one knows exactly what triggers it, but in some people, or in quite a few people, there's 200,000 cases every year of shingles, which is the virus, it stays asleep dormant in the spinal column, and it can then erupt and cause what's called a, a they call it a shingle, and it goes along, it's usually in a band, along the distribution of a particular uh, skin nerve. So it can be anywhere. It can be anywhere on the body and it's very painful. It's an, it usually looks like a rash. It's a purely clinical diagnosis. There aren't really lab tests to do for it. There isn't any X-ray or ultrasound to do. It's seeing the rash and then going to the doctor and the doctor taking a look and saying, yes, I think that's what it is. So that's what shingles actually is. Wow, it sounds nasty. You know, I had it's my painful. shingle shot a couple of years ago uh, also because just we kept hearing it, hearing it, hearing it. And I think uh, we in fact got it, um, well, we got a flu shot once uh, as well. Um, but shingles, uh, chicken pox, you normally, uh, uh, as much as I remember, uh, you, you break out all sorts of little uh, uh, marks all over your body. But shingles, when they advertise it on TV to uh, get your shots and so on and so forth, seem to have rashes on the arms and stuff. So does it present itself differently as an adult? And why is it so either dangerous or annoying? Is, uh, which one is it, dangerous or annoying or both? More annoying. More annoying, but really painful. And in most people, the rash shows up. It can last a few days. Sometimes it can last a few weeks. And most people, it just spontaneously recovers after that period of time. However, some people get pain that lingers afterwards. They call that post-herpetic neuralgia. It's just painful, okay, and that just lasts. Mm -hmm. So it's really more the pain than it is dangerous. Now, if it shows up, for example, I've seen, I've had patients tell me stories. They've had a shingle appear near the eye or on the face, or literally neck, trunk, arms, anywhere on the body, legs, all, all the way down. It really can be anywhere. It's totally impossible to predict. Mm. Wow. Yeah. And uh, But they have a virus for it. I mean, they have a vaccine for it, which is great. The vaccine, that's exactly right. So the vaccine is very effective. It's over 90% effective. And now, of course, lately we are all understanding these terms and terminology related to vaccines. So it has an, it's over 90% effective for adults. It's recommended for anyone over age 50. And that effectiveness lasts for at least four years. So it's been studied for that long. And really, it probably lasts longer than that. Okay, it doesn't need to be boosted as far as we know. But it is to, you get the first dose. And then the second dose is anywhere from two to six months later. Mm -hmm. It's a two-dose vaccine. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, good to know what it is and that I don't want it. <laughs> well, exactly. You want the vaccine. There's really, you want there's the vaccine, really... Not, not, the, uh, not the, uh, uh, the shingles to appear on your skin. Right. Right. Exactly. There's not a lot to do to treat it. 
there's basically just taking something for the pain. And you can take an antiviral medication, but with as with all viruses, it might shorten the duration of it, but it doesn't make it go away all that quickly. So it's great to get the vaccine and just not get it in the first place. Only yeah, because we're here right now, uh, and I think this could be a separate uh, conversation, but um, there are so many, we have flu shots, we have vaccines, we have COVID vaccines of various types. Uh, just as a general rule, what has there ever been a danger of multiple vaccines interacting poorly with one another? Uh, should anybody be concerned about getting it instead of a COVID vaccine or at the same time? That's a fantastic question. The COVID vaccine, they do recommend that you have not received any other vaccines within the previous 14 days, so about two weeks. Okay, but it is absolutely fine to get the Shingrix vaccine along with the regular flu shot. My husband did that. Yeah. It was there and they had it in stock and so we did both. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, and I had no reaction to either uh, either shot, so. Good, Dr. Liz, as always, very informative, very useful, and uh, a simple explanation that even somebody like I can understand. Appreciate it. We'll Here see we you soon. Wonderful. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.